What's up, guys? It's your boy Anime Boom, and I am back for another video. And man, after I seen Dragon Ball Super Superhero, man, I have a lot of stuff to say about Gohan. And I think I'm now having a realization that Gohan in Dragon Ball GT is great. And I think that version of Gohan is better than like the Dragon Ball Super version. Because now, like, the fans and the writers, everybody's just had a point that we're forcing Gohan to be something that he just isn't. I think his character was on the route to becoming a scholar and reading, writing, working, and stuff like that. And I think he's right next to Vegeta on, like, a great character in Dragon Ball GT. I feel like that's the route Gohan goes down. He's just not meant to be a fighter after uh, Dragon Ball Z. Like, I get it. He was great as a fighter. He had amazing moments, but... I think we now have to come to the point like it's over. It's over. He was forced to by Goku and all the bad situations going on. He was forced to fight. And now he doesn't have to fight anymore. So I think they should go down the route of him just being a peaceful guy taking care of his family. Because the Gohan Beast stuff is just crazy. It's wild. It's all over the place. And yeah. I think we've just been going through the same cycle since like the 90s. That Gohan has to be a fighter. Has to be this great character. And, like, sometimes he can fight. And that's what he did in Dragon Ball GT. He fought sometimes in that show. But that wasn't, like, he wasn't the focus anymore. He was just a side character. A super side character. So, yeah, just say how you feel about that. Should go on, is Gohan better than Dragon Ball GT? Or is he better than Super? Because I'm with the GT side. So, like, I'm subscribing. I'll see you on the next video. Anime Boom, my peace.